What's up fam? Welcome again to Orchids Garage. Uh, today I'm doing 2001 Chevy S10. I'm doing the ignition lock cylinder. This is a stick shift and there's two options for that and um, I'll tell you the uh, option first they ask you is if you have this the thumb wheel and then there's another option that doesn't have this they call it just regular one without the thumb uh, wheel so because I having hard time for the ignition to uh, so the ignition is stuck you cannot turn so I'm just gonna replace this one and hopefully fix the problem but I think that's the problem so it's, uh, it's just a uh, common sense that this one is not working uh, first I'm gonna set up my camera first and then take it off the terminal battery for the negative before I set up I would like to thank all my followers and subscriber out there uh, thank you thank you if you haven't subscribed to my channel uh, please subscribe so you can help my channel to grow get more video thank you guys let me set up and let's go to work okay so first take it off the negative terminal okay I'm good now moving on from the interior so we just have to take this this one right here Oop. and there's some more clips underneath we just have to take it off so this one I don't know where's the bolts is missing so one here two and then one more on the bottom right here so now uh, I take this one off so I just don't want to take the whole thing it's more or less more on, on hassle so next is to take up this whole funnel right here this part right here take this off a couple of uh bolts right here and then try to get the funnel right here first take it off this one it's eight sorry it's not eight it's seven i think most of the bolts here are seven the small ones okay just take it off this one okay so now i'm taking off this one so the wheels i cannot take off i cannot tilt so basically you just take off the whole thing all the wires down here that hold this uh funnels so take it off this uh wiring okay so i take up two of the connector from your headlights and the dimmer i think there's one more over here one more uh connector one more connector this one right here the yellow one so push the tab and then take it off and then you can take up the whole funnel right here so we can have access from the steering wheel cover now i get the whole steering wheel cover take it off our next step is to take this cover uh, i just have to find out let's see i think i have to yeah this is screw i have to take it off okay on the bottom there's two screw one and two i think three let me double check. but here one and two of the screw this one it's only got one okay i just have to take off the upper part now i'm i'm into the ignition lock cylinder first i just have to take this connector right here okay and then there's one more connector down here this one right here okay so the next stop i just have to pry this other this white clips uh sorry connector and then this one is over here uh, next there's the indented mark right here we just have to uh, put some pick and then to push the lock so we can take up the ignition lock uh, cylinder okay get the, the lock right here put it right here this is the slot right here Rough. All 
Alright guys, so I did not film the this the what you call this? this the the alright sorry I missed the to film it. So basically that's why I put the lock or the pin right here because first I have to get this. This is the lock right here. So in a, so you cannot take the ignition lock because this is the the pin right here that preventing to pull the ignition lock cylinder so once you turn once you turn that and then you get the pin you slowly pull the cylinder the ignition lock cylinder and it will take it off okay so these are the lock you just have to press it that's why you get the pins right here this part right here so now installing the new one you have to match the the certain ways and then you have to match this this one right here this slot right here i'll try to take a pic with a flashlight and then we'll show it to you all right so over here if you can see the slot right here there's a specific ways okay before you put it in and then you see these two fins this the two pins you have to put it in a certain way too okay so over here I think there's a there's a slot okay all right so when I take up the ignition lock it's all the way like this I have to put it in the same way okay so I'm the only one so no one is holding the camera I'll try to film it and then get my key okay I think I did it wrong yeah I did it wrong guys I think I figured it out so basically everything is working fine I cannot get, get it in so why I cannot move this one because you had to press that pin because the one the two prong the two prong over here earlier the two pins this is are the key so you can turn off the the, the the key cylinder so right now start the car turn it off I cannot but you have to push the pin and then take it off the key that's why now I get it that's why there's two pin down there okay here you go one more time turn off push it like that okay now I have to reconnect all my wirings Right here reconnect this one there's a pin down here the white one I have to reconnect the two okay okay got everything check Okay, I'm gonna try to put everything back and then try to start the car, put my terminal, hopefully it starts, hopefully they do it right. Okay. It just all reverse everything on what I did. So first uh put the cover, the steering wheel cover right here, column, and then slowly put everything back. Okay, first I have to Put it in so this one. Okay, I have 
to turn the steering all the way here. got it and then on the bottom part bottom part put it in Get my screw, line up everything. Line up that. I think it should be good. Okay. Now. I'm ready to put my uh, the whole funnel right here. Okay, and then reconnect everything. I got my dashboard funnel. Sorry guys, it's kind of messy when I film because it's not enough space and I'm the only one holding it. So now on the other side, connect all my lights. Connector, there's, there's two connectors. So connect all my two connectors, one right here. The other one is white one and then just like push everything back and it should be good I got everything just push everything back line up double check all the connectors so now I'm on the bottom one line up everything I got all my screws and then hopefully we can start the car all right for the dashboard there's two clips uh, there's two uh, bolts right here one and two but I'm missing all the bolts because you know this is a used car and now line up this one put everything back put all my screw underneath and that should be good Alright guys, so everything is here, everything I can check, double check, so I'm gonna um, put my terminal battery, the negative, put everything back, and then start the car. If it doesn't start, I, I did something wrong, if it start, I did it the right way, okay? Okay, and it started, everything's with the, put it in verse oh it worked all right so i just have to get the fuel get the fuel okay things 
working. I'm just turning up again just to make sure. Okay, one more time. This is stick ship. Okay, everything works fine. Alright guys, so that's how it is. You know, uh, yeah, it's, it's basically easy. You just have to make sure about this one. You just have to double check this uh, ignition lock cylinder down here. And then there's the pin and then there's two connectors that you have to watch out. Don't uh, force it, slowly take it off, the black connectors and then the white connectors over here. And then line up uh, the ignition lock cylinder because there's a specific uh, slot to get into that. All right, guys. Uh, thank you again. I would like to thank all my uh, followers and subscribers out there. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, just click the subscribe button so we can grow the channel and so I can get more video for you guys. I'll see you guys again next time. Thank you. Thank you again.